What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to build a simple camera recording tool in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so for this little mini project today, we're going to make use of an external Python library called OpenCV. This library is going to allow us to access the camera information, to access the camera data, to process the individual frames, and to write them into a new MP4 file uh, using a codec. And for that, we're going to start by installing OpenCV uh, by opening up the command line and typing pip install OpenCV-Python. So this is the name when you use uh, when you install it in the command line, OpenCV-Python. This is not the name when you import the module, because when you import it, you just type import CV2. And this allows you now to use OpenCV inside of Python. And the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to define a camera object, a camera capture object by saying cap equals CV2 video capture. And we're going to pass here the index of the camera that we want to use. So if you have more than one camera, you can play around, you can try zero, you can try one, you can try two, depending on how many cameras you have. If you only have one camera that is connected to your computer, you just pass zero because that's going to be the only index that you can access. In my case, I only have one camera, the one that I'm recording with, which means that I will have to turn it off um, in OBS to use it in the Python script later on for the demonstration. Um, but yeah, here you pass the camera index, just as a side note, if you pass a string here, for example, myvideo.mp4, it's going to look for a file for a video file, my video mp4, and it's going to give you the frames of that video instead of the frames of the camera. Just as a side note here, we have done this in other videos already. So I'm going to pass zero here. And I'm going to also pass cv2 cap underscore d show. And we're going to then define the resolution of the camera, I'm going to go with a simple HD. So 1280 times 720. And for that, we're going to say cap dot set CV two cap prop frame height is going to be a 1000. No, actually, width first the width is going to be 1280. And cap set CV two height is going to be 720. And now we can use the capture object. But first of all, what we want to do is we want to define also the codec for the MP4 writing and the writer itself, which is going to write into the video file. And for that, we're going to say 4cc, which is the codec is going to be CV2 video writer 4cc. And we're going to pass your four characters M P uh, four and then V MP4 B. This then creates the respective codec for MP4 files. And we're going to say here writer equals CV2 video writer. And here we pass the name of the file first so recording dot MP4, then the codec that we just created, then the frame rate, so 30 frames per second, and then the resolution as a tuple. So 1280 times 720. And then we're also going to have a Boolean that is going to um, to be used for recording. So we're going to have a Boolean that is either true or false, uh, representing the state of the recording, are we recording right now or not. So we're going to say recording by default is going to be false, because when you open uh, a tool like OBS, it also doesn't just start recording, you have to press recording in order to, uh, to record a video. And we're going to do the same thing with the key press. So if we press R, we're going to start the recording, if we press R again, we're going to stop the recording. Um, and after that, we're going to just say while true, we're going to get the return value and a frame from the camera. So from the cap, we're going to read whatever we get here, this is going to be the frame in this variable and the return value in this variable. And the return value can be used in order to see if there is something happening if there is some, some, um, something to be processed. And we're going to say if ret, we're going to show the frame. So we're going to say, this is the let's just call this video. Uh, and display the frame. And then we're going to say inside of this here, if recording is true. So if we are recording right now, we're going to say writer dot write the respective frame into the file. Then what we're going to do and we're almost done actually. So this is really a simple project, really a simple mini project here. Uh, all we're going to do now is we're going to define two keys for quitting and for recording as I mentioned. So we're going to say here the key that we press here is CV to wait key one. So we have this minor delay to wait for key presses. 
And if a key is pressed, we're going to say if key equals the ORT of so the number the ASCII code of Q, then we're going to just end everything here, we're going to break out of the loop, elif the key is ORT R. We're going to say recording is the opposite of what it is right now. So recording is not recording to toggle basically the recording state. Um, and we're going to print also here recording. Uh, let me use an F string here. Recording is going to be the value of recording. So we're going to see true or false if it is recording or not. And afterwards, we're going to just say cap dot release and writer dot release as well. And then CV two dot. Uh, what was it kill destroy destroy all windows. And that's actually it. This is our script. And now I'm going to I'm going to have to turn off my camera to show you that this works. Alright, so I disabled the camera now in OBS, which means that I should be able to use it in Python. Let's give it a try. We should be able to see the camera here in a second. There you go. Now everything we see here is not yet recorded. So I can hold something into the camera like this bull here, and it's not going to be part of the video. Uh, but if I now press R, it's going to toggle the recording, you can see recording true. And now I can hold something else into the camera like some watch or a book or something. Uh, and now if I press R again, it's going to say recording false, I can press Q to terminate the program. And you can see now we have this recording mp4 file, I can right click open in Explorer. And if I double click it here, you can see the bull is not going to be part of the video, but the watch is going to be part of the video, there you go. So in the beginning, it did not record uh, the content. And later on, it recorded when we pressed the recording button. Now, as you probably noticed, there is no sound because this is just camera capture. This is just visual recording. The sound is a little bit more complicated. We have to use Pi audio, which is um, yeah, the installation process is a little bit tedious and complicated. So this is just a visual recording. This is how you build a simple camera recording tool in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.